Oh my god! Mark! Oh, it's quality, isn't it? No, that scared the life out of me. Don't start trying. I'm gonna go. Oh, that's why I stalled. So how did I do? Around me are familiar faces, worn out places, worn out faces. Man, can you just stop scrolling for one minute? Just give me one minute. Big shout out to all your TikTokers. I'm a 46 year old father of three from Sydney, Australia. Some may say I'm a little bit too old for the app, but I don't think creativity has an age barrier and I respect the content you guys produce. It's amazing, it blows me away every day. But I wanted to offer a word of encouragement and a little piece of advice as you're scrolling through the awesome content you produce. It's easy to start comparing yourself to other people and I find when you do that, it puts you in one of two really dangerous places. You'll either develop a superiority complex where you feel better than, or an inferiority complex where you don't feel good enough. And I just want to encourage everyone that you're all amazing, unique, wonderful, and incredible as the content that's on this app. If you're over 40, give me a like and a comment just for the hell of it, but uh, someone needs to hear this. Stop comparing yourself. Get off the comparison pendulum. Be happy. Always the people who act super innocent, like, oh my god, I'm baby, that end up being the horniest little freaks you will ever meet. And you're not allowed to argue with me on this one because I'm baby. Put your hand in mine. You know that I want to be with you all the time You know that I won't stop until I- <laughs> <laughs> You could've just pushed it home <laughs> Why are you wasting it though? <laughs> Say sorry to you? How about you say sorry to me? No, I'm not saying sorry to you. Yeah. You know how old you are? You're three. No, I'm four. No, you're not. You're three. You're a little ass girl. I don't have to say sorry to you. Say sorry to me right now! <laughs>
crazy roommate check. So my roommate is my best friend, but she hasn't paid rent in eight months. And she also doesn't have a car. So I drive her around in mine. And then you walk in. And all of her stuff is everywhere. She has her own room on that side of the house over there. But she insists on sleeping in my room with me. And then she insists on waking up all hours of the night. And then she's always on watching the TV and all of her stuff is in the living room. Like there she is right now. Hey, Florence. See, she doesn't even want to talk to me.